to this tactical fly fisher fly tying tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be tying for you the crossover nymph. This nymph started as a lake fly for me and was uh, really helpful in some calabatus hatches during the National Fly Fishing Championship in 2018. Uh, but it then has morphed into a pattern that I use on the rivers a lot as well. So that's why I call it the crossover nymph because it can be good in both places. It's essentially a, a soft tackle hair zero variation that combines a, a tag from a tag nymph like a blowtorch and puts it on a really successful base fly that's a soft tackle hair zero with some pearl ribbing on it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. In the vise right now you can see I have the lake version and really all that I change to make a river version is I add a bead. So that's what we're going to tie with this one. So I just have a, a slotted barbless hook here. You could do the river versions on a jig as well if you want. Um, I don't do the lake versions on a jig because I want them to retrieve and strip correctly. But uh, the river version you can do with or without. And the cool part about putting it on um, a straight nymph hook with a bead is that you could then literally cross over back and forth between uh, rivers and lakes with this fly, especially with like a floating line on a, on a lake. All right, so I have some tan uh, 16 op vivas that I have used for my thread body there. And then I'm just taking three strands of glow bright number seven. This is fluorescent orange, and I'm gonna tie that in. So I'm gonna do a pinch wrap, wrap a couple loose turns back and just slide that back until it hides under the thread wraps so I don't have to trim it off. And then I'm wrapping to the back and I'm gonna cut that nice and short. I don't want it longer than the back of the hook, the back of the bend. The thing about uh, most tag nymphs in my mind from what I've seen both uh, commercially and just to other tires tying them is that most people are, are using far too much material and leaving it too long. I've got three strands there, basically one strand that I cut into th thirds and combined and um, I'm only just leaving a tiny little tag. It's supposed to be a trigger, it's not supposed to overwhelm the fly. And then I have some cock on and I'm just gonna take four fibers of that for the tail. And measure it and I want it to be maybe slightly shorter than body length or around body length so I'll measure it I'll switch over to my left hand and then this is the hardest part right here is just getting it to lock down on top without uh, going off to the side or tying it on top of the tag so I just want to make sure the thread goes just in front of the tag and that I pinch wrap to lock that cochlean on top of the hook and looks like I got a little close to the tag so we'll redo that That's better. Okay. So now I've got some micro flashaboo, and I'm going to tie that on the near side, the side that's closest to me. And I've just pin trapped it. Same thing as the, the globe red. I'm pin trapping it, sliding it back. And then I'm going to wrap back close to the bend of the hook. And now I'm going to make a loop because this is going to be my counter rib. So I'm just going to make a loop of thread, put it in my fingers here, and wrap it down. And then I'm going to wrap that to the far side of the hook and give it a little twist as I wrap it so that it all holds together when I do the loop. All right, and I can just let that hang. I'm going to put it back in my material clip here on my vise. And now I have some gray, uh, gray squirrel UV tracer dubbing from Nature Spirit that I'm applying here. And I'm just putting a little bit on here. And this is going to be my abdomen. And this squirrel dubbing has just enough scruffiness to make a nice uh, hair's ear type body, even though it's not hair's ear. 
and makes it look nice and buggy. All right, I'm just going to wrap a fairly thin layer up the body here. And I want to leave a little bit of space for the thorax. So right at the front, I will make a couple extra wraps and build up a little taper. Now I'm going to take my micro flash of boot and I'm going to wrap around. I'm going to go under the hook first. And that way, uh, even with the counter rib, uh, I still want to protect that back wrap because that's the most vulnerable spot with any rib uh, for fish's teeth to catch. So I've gone under the hook first and wrapped it around and just made evenly spaced turns on the way up. I did about four turns there. Now I've got my my Roto Dub Elite tool from Stonfo. That's this is my favorite dubbing loop tool, bar none. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the loop. And give it a quick spin here. Alright, so I've wrapped my dubbing loop and now I'm going to make a double turn here at the back where I do a little bit of an X wrap and that'll just give some extra durability in the back. And then just counter rib forward. So I'm gonna have about four or five turns of the thread. And I will go ahead and trim that off. Now I'm gonna put a CDC hackle on this. So first I'm just gonna make a tiny little dubbing ball right here that that CDC can butt up against. So I've just added some more of that squirrel dubbing. Now I'm gonna take my CDC feather here and I'm going to stroke it down just like that and trim one side off close to the top and then the other side just trim the base off so I don't get that fluff right at the base of the feather. And then stroke it at the top as well so the tip is nice and available to tie in. And I'll go ahead and tie that in. Just with a pinch wrap again. And now I just have some hack pliers. I'm gonna make probably two to three turns of this with the, the feather cut on the one side. If you don't cut the, the fibers off of one side of the feather, within like a turn, turn and a half, the thing will become very overloaded with CDC fibers and normally it'll, they get trapped onto one side so they kind of get lopsided and it makes a pretty uh, uneven and, and overly dressed looking fly. Okay, now, I'm just gonna add a little bit of a thorax here and to make it slightly two-toned, I've got Red Fox Squirrel UV Tracer dubbing, which is a little bit darker and kind of more brownish. I'm just gonna dub a little collar there. And stroke it back just a bit, make a couple turns. And if you want, you can rough this up with a, like a dubbing tool. I don't have one handy right in front of me, so I'm not going to, but you could brush that out to make it a little bit scruffier. Um, now I'm gonna take some brushable Loctite and just hit the first inch or so below the fly with some super glue, make one or two turns, and then go ahead and do a three turn whip finish, and that will bind everything together. All right, now you'll see right now that CDC is quite long and uh, longer than you'd want for this soft tackle, but it's also propped out just a bit, and that's why I did that dubbing ball behind it. And that way you get a little more movement uh, if it's propped out to the side. To trim it to length, I'm basically gonna break it to length, so I'll take it out of the vise, just use my thumb and my index finger to break it off about even with the back of the hook, so kind of about where your tag is. If you've seen my blowtorch nymph, I'm doing this a lot pretty much on my blowtorch now as well, substituting CEC for the hackle and breaking it to length just like that. And now you've got a nice CDC soft hackle 
uh, crossover nymph that uh, is going to work really well for you as just kind of an all-purpose attractor nymph. Um, it works really well during caddis hatches. It also works really well on lakes and calabatus hatches, which is how it got its start. Uh, but certainly just a, a, a nymph with pulling power that can be used at, really at any time. So I hope you give it a try and that it works for you on the river or the lake. If you like this tutorial, please uh, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit that bell icon so that you get a notification when we post new channels or new videos as we hope to be doing a lot more over the next few months. Thanks for watching.